Thanks a lot, Steve. And I just want to go uh, over a couple things. Go ahead and take your armbands out and pre-stage them. Go ahead and take the uh, transparent tube and connect it to the armband. And then take your armband and kind of preset it, right? Nice, nice. And you just slide your arm in there. Slide it all the way up to your armpit. Kind of like if you're putting them on your legs, you're going to go all the way up as high as you can on your legs. And if you're wearing a t-shirt like I am, ideally, I like to have the bands go around the shirt. Okay, and make sure it's snug. You know, you should be able, like I can get my finger under there, but it's tight, right? So it should be, it should be pretty snug. And once both bands are on, and when you just kind of relax and they feel about the same, take your cycle 2.0 and turn it on by pushing and holding the middle button. You'll hear a beep. You'll see the word cycle come up. And then, Go ahead and take the two tubes and hook it in, nice and easy. And I always start at a lower cycle and progress throughout the workout. So group low, and there we go. We're ready to go. Laurel, over to you. Awesome, I've got Instagram on my right and Zoom front and center. Uh, so we're trying something new, so doing our best to seeing how it goes. Uh, those on Zoom, we're ready to go. John led you through it. Those on Instagram, we've got our bands, our cycles are running. Everybody, if you do not have water, go do that right now. Please take a sip, making sure we're always hydrated when we use our bands. So today we're going to start standing, and we're going to do a little bit of mobility work. We call these movements CARS. It stands for Controlled Articular Rotation. Fancy way of saying we're doing circles with our joints to wake them up. So starting with our neck, relax the shoulders away from the ears. You can start to feel those bands working. We like that. And we're gonna do this together, taking them nice and slow. Tuck your chin into your chest. And then keeping the shoulders pulled away from the ears, start to drop right ear to right shoulder. Imagine you're dragging the back of your head along your back. And as you do this, drop left ear to left shoulder. And then pull your chin back into your chest. So let's take another one together. Right ear to right shoulder. Making as big a circle as you can. Creating resistance in your body. Drag the back of the head along your back. Left ear to left shoulder. Chin into chest. Take two more on your own. The slower you can go, the better. Each time we do this, controlling that rotation of the joint all the way around. And one more. And pull the head back through center and let's rest. Maybe give those fingers a little shake. I like to make fists when I do these to get those shoulders even more protracted down the back. So now we're going to go the other way. Chin into the chest. Left ear to left shoulder. Drag the back of the neck along the spine, right ear to right shoulder. Back through center, one more together. Left ear to left shoulder. Move through that range. If you have stickiness, pops or cracks, as long as they don't hurt, try and move through them. Come back through center and take two more on your own, making sure to really breathe into it here. We're carving out space for our joints to move hopefully releasing any upper shoulder or neck tension, and then come back through center, give those fingers a wiggle. For our second set of cars, we're gonna do the shoulders, and then we're gonna dive into our muscle strength workout. So take your left arm across your body. You really wanna isolate the right shoulder. Find your hand, and leading with your thumb, we wanna reach all the way up, so full shoulder extension. Now, I'm going to drop down onto my knees so those in Zoom can see. We're going to wrap that our pinky finger points backwards and then keeping the body still and stable, engaging the glutes with the core, make as big a circle as you can, come back and around. Let's do two more. Leading with the thumb, reach up all the way, shoulder extension. Rotate, pinky finger back. Imagine you're swimming backstroke. Swimmers, I know you're out there. Big circle. And one more. And I want to try and do this without letting my body shift and wiggle. So isolating the shoulder joint. And we come back around. Go ahead and release it. Let's dive right to the other side. Pun kind of intended because we're so many. Right arm across the body. 
leading with the left thumb, reach all the way up, take the bend out of the elbow. We can feel the band working. Wrap pinky finger facing back, big circle all the way around. Two more, leading with the thumb, reach up. Rotate, pinky finger leads back and around. And we'll take our last one. I wanna see your biggest circle of the day. All the way up and move through it. Fantastic. I see people on Zoom moving. I see people on Instagram engaging. We're all doing this together across platforms. So as many of you know, with the bands, we start arms and legs, smaller muscles to bigger muscles. So let's fire up those forearms before we do everything, anything more. So what we're gonna do is upward wrist curl. I can already see some of the veins in my forearms coming to the surface. If you can see that, great. Uh, if the bands are a little too tight, a little too loose, you can adjust them now. We're gonna glue our elbows into the midline of the body. And then we have two 30 second sets. We're gonna make fists and lift your wrists up, down, up, down. So really isolating the forearm joint, first 30 seconds. Let's move through it, up, down, up, down. And you should be able to start to feel your forearms working right away, down, up, down. The more you squeeze those fists, the more we can engage the muscles. Last 10 seconds, up, down, up, down. We have 10, I can feel it. Good, for five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. All right, one more set. Glue those elbows into the midline of the body. This time we're moving fast. Make this. Here we go. 30 seconds and go. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. See if you can grow a little taller as you do this. We always want to have good posture. Up, down, up, down. Squeezing even tighter. Half down. Move through it. Sometimes here our arms start to turn a slightly darker color. That's good, we want that. As long as there's no numbness or tingling, last 10 seconds. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, release. Let's get into some full body work, isolating the triceps and the shoulders. So it's called crab toe touches. Again, we're doing two 30 second sets. Now we have options here. I come down to six. My fingers are facing towards my heels. Option number one, we lift up, we tap, tap. So I'm opening up the backs of my legs as I'm pressing the floor away from me, engaging my triceps. Option number two, you're seated, press the chest up, tap, tap. Either way, we want to keep the arms active. So pick your position. First 30 seconds, let me get my trusty timer going. And here we go, whatever variation you're in. Pressing the floor away with your arms, tap and switch. So this first one, we're gonna take a moderate pace. So just getting used to it, pressing your chest up. If your bottom's lifted, keep it up. We're really working the whole body. Your arms should be feeling those bands. We are half done. If you're in the seated version, keep pushing your chest up, nice straight spine. We have 10. Just getting used to it. See if you can kick those legs even straighter, because why not? Hamstring stretch for five, four, three, two, and rest, give the wrist a roll. So we're used to the movement now. Let's kick it up. Second 30 seconds, we're going fast. I want to see straight, strong arms. Get those legs moving. Set yourself up, whatever variation you're in, and we go. Kick, 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 kick. We're moving. Let's see what we got. Instagram's firing. I'm seeing responses, all kinds of waves. Hey, guys. Zoom. I see John moving. The auto moving, Jack is moving, Livy's going. Last 10 seconds, everyone keep moving. Yes, bottoms up, we have five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone set your butt down, roll your wrists out, release them, good job. Feeling the triceps working. Let's all check our palms quickly. Hold your hand up, give your palm a press. Make sure the blood goes from white back to normal color within about 30 seconds, good cap refill. And we're ready to keep tracking. Next up, forearm plank touch, moving into the shoulders even more. We come down into our forearm plank. Option number one, we reach and reach. Also available to do this on your knees. Out and out. Two sets again. First one is moderate pace, but I want you to focus on really extending your arms out. So none of this 
no shuffling, mindfully move. Second set, we are fine. Punch, 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 okay? First 30 seconds, set yourself up, forearm plank, and moderate pace, really reach. And reach, keep those hips from wiggling. Full extension of the shoulders, same thing we practiced when we did our circles. Cool, half done. Nice core engagement. Even if you're on your knees, you can still fully extend your arms with those fists, opening up the shoulders, the core, the glutes, everything is working. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Drop those knees and rest. Awesome. Now, for our second set, I want you to count how many you can do. Instagram, just remember them in your head. And remember for the next time, so you can challenge yourself. Those on Zoom, I'm going to ask you to give me a shout, and we'll all share as best we can. So one counts as one, two, three, four. Okay, set yourself up into your forearm plank. 30 seconds, move. How many can do? One, two, three, four. Get your body going. That's the stuff. All right, Bonnie. Cool. I see Jacob. I see Paolo, all kinds of folks on Instagram. Awesome, guys. Keep going. I'm getting waves. I see you. Those on Zoom, we're going last 10 seconds. Move through it as fast as you can. We're going to report our numbers. All right, Adrian. Go, Caden, in five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop your knees. Those on Zoom, give me a shout or a chat how many we have. Those on Instagram, you can also type in your numbers as well, and we can compare as a group where we're at. Good job, everyone. 43, 43. I, I, think, 43. I, think, Chris did, I think Chris did 20. <laughs> Anyone be uh, I did 44. 44. Oh, 44. Ryan. 40 on All my. Right. <laughs> what do we got? Cool. Oh, man, John, you're a beast, man. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are wild. I love it. Take a quick sip of water and let's keep going. Remember, the whole point of this is that our cycles are going. So check your cycle. If it's paused, tire that thing back up. We want our bands to be working for us. Next exercise, we have a floor push-up to back extension. What that means, we come on to plank, we come down, hands behind the head, back extension, root your hands down, push right back up. We lower down, back extension, hands come down with a straight spine, we push back up. Now, none of this, no sagging to get up. If you're sagging, I want you to do with your knees down, drop, extend, push up. Either way is fine, okay? So we're gonna start in a plank position. We have two 30 second sets. Speed does not matter, form absolutely does. So hips should stay in line with shoulders the whole time. Set yourself up into plank. First 30 seconds, drop down, hands behind the head, spinal extension, lift. Hands come to the shoulders, right back up, we go down, lift, push up, and back into it. I'm gonna check this form on Zoom and see how we're doing. Instagram, keep going, keep those elbows glued into your body, pressing the elbows back the whole time. Cool, George, nice, Justin. All right, I see Adam's in the house, awesome. Go, Devin, last 10 seconds. See if you can do one more awesome, Push up to spine extension in five, four, three, two, and one. Drop those knees. Everyone take a shoulder stretch. Walk your arms forward, chest drop, hip lift. Mm -hmm. Keep pressing the floor away from you with your palms. Get the elbows up. And imagine your tail sticking up behind you. Get that tail up towards the ceiling. Cool. Now we know the good form. See if you can take it even slower on this next set. So what that means is maybe you can lower down even slower, press up higher, and then push up for a count of three, two, one. Otherwise, keep doing the same pace you had. Second set, go. And I'm gonna do a few with you guys to make sure we're keeping that good form. Lifting the chest, even the legs, engaging the glutes. Yes, half done. Cool. 
All right. Last 10 seconds. See if you can squeeze in one more with fantastic form. We have five, four, three, two, rest. Everyone hop on up. Let's get our heart rate up before we switch the band. Hop on up to stand, shake it all out, move your arms around. All right, our heart rate boost of the day. Three moves. We have scissor punch jack. You step back, punch, punch, punch. Uh, alternate variation is modified step, step, step. Either way, I want to see you move. Go, okay? That's first 30 seconds. Second 30, squat and reach. We go down, up, down, and up. The variation, the modification for this is just take it slow. Either way, you're pressing your hips back, your spine stays straight, none of this. Last thing, high oblique kick. Hand is behind the head. We kick, kick, kick. Well, however high you get the leg is great, as long as you're moving, squeezing your outer hips. So let's get started. First set, scissor punch jack. We are going punch, 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 punch. 30 seconds, bend into that front knee. If you can, you can go fast. Go, go, go. Everyone is moving. Half done, move through it. Jump, jump or step, step. In 10 seconds, we're gonna go right into squat and reach. We have five, four, three, Two, step those feet wide. Here we go. Squat. Up, down, up. Up, down, and up. Arms and legs are moving. The heart rate is elevated. Up, down, up. That's the stuff. See if you can pick up the pace. Pressing your butt back. Get even lower. Up, down, up. Keep going, Instagram. Zoom. Lucas, I love it. Go, Jeff, go. Adrian, last 10. Ooh, I see Chris working today. I like it. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone shake it out. Grab your water. We're going to switch our bands out. Steve, if you have any announcements, go for it. Zoom folks, if you have any questions, give us a shout on Instagram. I'll try and relay anything that's heard on Zoom to our greater group. So pop those bands up. Let's get ready for life. High leg band. <laughs> I'm not seeing any questions. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> We're all perfectly primed. We're ready. I love good it. Good job, Laurel. I don't know if it's me or we're just all in really good shape. Maybe all everybody's right. too tired to ask questions. Yeah, uh, you went to, uh, Laurel, you went to UC uh, Santa Cruz. How was it? How is that university? So I went to, yeah, I went to UC Santa Cruz. I am a bona fide banana slug. And uh, how was that university was the question. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I had a really good time. It was a lot <laughs> uh, of fun. <laughs> I had a lot of friends. Uh, we had a beautiful gym on our campus that was actually overlooking the ocean. So I got very spoiled with my workout. Um, we did have an outdoor pool, so 6 a.m. swims were a bit chilly, but uh, it, was a, it was a good time. If there's any slugs out there, give me a hello. I'd love to see you. So as we're getting our bands on, um, Let's try and get them as high up into the leg creases as we can. So we want to put them on standing up. So our muscles are slightly engaged. And we want to, once you get them on, let's put my band on sideways. We want to get them all the way up. And then once you strap in, see if we can get a slight angle. So getting those outer edges the tubes all the way up towards our hip creases, think kind of rock climbing holster type ordeal. And then I'm gonna hook in and we'll move into legs. And just like arms with legs, we wanna start smaller muscles to bigger muscles. So we're gonna do some active stretching to open everything up a little bit more. And then we're gonna dive right into our calves 
which for some people is actually one of the hardest things to do because we don't focus on those as much and it can require some balance. So wherever you're at, um, all of the exercises we do are suggestions. It is most important to listen to your body and know what's right. Um, don't do anything that your body says is not a good idea. So with that said, let's jump into it unless Steve has any more comments. No, no. All right, sounds like go. we're good to go. So active stretching. We can do a static stretch where we just fold and we lengthen a muscle, or we can do active stretching where we work into lengthening that muscle. So right now we're gonna do some active stretches for our hips, biggest muscle in the body. Uh, and we, if we can loosen those guys up, it feels pretty good, especially if we're at home, we're sitting more than usual. So let's dive into that. So step the feet nice and wide. Go ahead and start that cycle. I'm on group medium right now just to get some warm up going. And then you can take your hands to your hips and we're just gonna bend side to side. So first over into the left leg, pressing your butt back and come back up. And then over into the right leg and come back up. And it does not matter how low you go, just get your butt low. Again, same thing as on those squat reaches, keeping your spine straight. We don't want to round out because then we're not stretching the hips, we're just rounding our spine. And we're going to keep going side to side each time. See if you can get a little bit lower. Also getting a nice big stretch on the adductor, the inner thigh. And down and up. And you'll find that the more you do these, the lower you can go. So it can be fun to kind of play with them sometimes and see where your body's at one day versus another. And we'll take two more. And last one. All right, now nice test. Let's test the static stretch. See how flexible we are today. We're gonna do this one at the beginning of our leg session and at the end. So go ahead and take your hands down to your legs and just walk your hands as far down as you can go, letting the spine fully round and mentally take note of how far you can fold. We're gonna do this in the beginning and then we're gonna also do it at the end to see if we can get any additional flexibility which the bands can sometimes provide. So once you're down, give your head a shake, yes. Uh -huh. and, then do the work. and then roll on up to stand. All right, so calf exercises to start. We're gonna step the feet, hip distance apart. It's a three part lift. We lift with the heels parallel. We turn the toes slightly out and then we turn the toes all the way out. So we have 30 seconds. I'm going to do the first set with us. We're going to take two. So we lift at the center, slight external rotation, and full external rotation. Center, and out, and all the way. And each time you do it, try and get your heels as high up as you can. And out, and all the way. And I don't know if there are any dancers in the house, but if there are, that full external rotation tends to be a lot easier for dancers. I am not one of you. One more set. We have five seconds. Four, three, two, and hold that full external rotation. Little lift. Down and up. Eight, seven, six, five. Get your heels higher. Four, three, two, lift and hold. Lower down slowly. Four, three, two, one. Cool. Shake it out. Let's go right into our second set. Feet are parallel, 30 seconds. We lift, lift, and lift. And as your hips open up, see if on that third lift, you can rotate the toes out further and further each time. A little bit of balance challenge. And now, and out. Good, last 10. And out. In five, we're gonna lift with the feet parallel. We have four, three, two, and one. Take your feet parallel, lift those heels up, hold, option to hold here or work into it. Drop your butt down, get your butt up. Drop your butt down, get your butt up. We have three, two, doesn't matter how low you can go, last one, get your butt up, hold at the top, Five, four, three, two, and release. Shake it out. Cool. Let's get our heart rate back up. Three moves. We have scissor punch jack, squat and reach, and high oblique kicks. Okay? 
show, which I think I skipped the oblique kick from the last one. You guys got lucky. All right, so first step, scissor punch jack, let's go. Option to step back if the jump is too much. Otherwise, keep jumping, keep moving. 30 seconds. Woo, someone's flying. Yes, Quentin, yeah, we're going. Go Instagram too. Cool. All right, keep moving, keep moving. We have five, four, three, two. Squat and reach, get down, down, up, down, up. Yeah, and down, and up. Keep going, press those hips back. Each time, get even lower. Whoosh, swing the arms up. 20 more seconds. Go guys, go. All right. Kaori, I can't see Renee, but I know she's moving. Same with Lily and Charles in five. We're gonna go into those high leg oblique kicks. We have four, three, two, and one. Right hand behind the head, left arm out to the side. 15 seconds per side, we kick, kick, kick. Get them high, go as fast as you can. Working the obliques, opening up the hips, and go, go. Kind of like the other side. <laughs> Good, last five, then we're gonna switch to the other side. We have four, three, two, and switch. Left hand behind the head, right side. Kick, kick. One side might be harder than the other. That is normal. And up, last 10 seconds, keep moving. Go Devin, go Jeff, go Instagram. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Give yourself a round, take a sip of water. Take a gaze at the screen. Our next exercise is a curtsy lunge. So starting with the left leg, we go back, up, back, up. See how far over to the side you can step that leg. If you want more of a challenge, up, back, hold, back, hold. The alteration, the modification for this is just don't step back as far. Little tap, up, tap. Up. So we're doing four sets, 30 seconds per side. First set, starting with your left leg. Let's go. Lunge, up, lunge, up. Perfectly fine to lunge and tap as long as you're getting low. Bending into the front knee, bending into the back knee, open up those hips, engage those glutes. Half done. All right, making sure we keep our chest up as we do this, no rounding out the spine. Last 10. Get your butt low, get your knee low. We have five, four, three, two. Fantastic, right into the other side. Right leg is working. We go back, tap or back, lift. Down, up, both knees are bending. Let's move. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of people holding at the top and I love it. Checking in on my Zoomers. See how they're doing. Nice George, nice Otto. Right, rest, shake it out. Shake out the other side. All right. For our next set, you have the option to do the same thing as before. You can lunge, tap, lunge, hold. Or if you're wanting even more today, you step your right leg back, you hold it, and you go down, up, down, up the whole time. I encourage you to try the third option because it's awesome. Whatever variation you're taking, set yourself up. Step that right, sorry, left leg back, and we're going. 30 seconds. And if you're in that static hold, I want you to think about squeezing your hips and your glutes into the midline of your body the whole time. If you want even more of a challenge, reach those arms up, down, up, down, and up. Yeah, John. There we go. Even better, make those arms straight. In 10 seconds, we're all going to meet with that leg back, no matter what variation you're taking, and we're going to hold. We have five, four, three, two. Step that left leg back, get low, little pulse to the bottom. Squeeze, 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 
squeeze. Get that back knee down. We have 10, nine, eight, seven. Use your core for five, four, three, two, and one. Step it up. Take your hands to your hips. Give them a rock side to side to release. Ooh. Should really be feeling that in the back side of the body. Quick stretch before we continue. Take your left fingertips to your left hand. Walk them down. Get a big side body stretch. And let's come back up through center and do our last step. So stepping your right leg back behind you, you can either lunge, tap, or the last option, static hold. Get that foot as far over to the side as you can. 30 seconds. Let's go. Down, down, down and down, hold it at the bottom, contracting every muscle in your body. Yes. You can take the arms out, you can take the arms up, whatever you want or need to do to create a little bit more instability, which will make any of our movements harder, half done. All right. Nice. Oh, I see someone with their hands clasped overhead, even better. In five, we're gonna step that right leg back in a hold wherever you are. Three, two, get that knee low, a little pulse, 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 pulse. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, squeezing four, three, two, and one. Step it up, right hand over to the right leg, big side body stretch, get low release. And let's come on up and jump right into the next set of our heart rate boost. After that, we're gonna take a pause for water and questions. So knowing that we have 90 seconds of work to push through and then we'll take a couple minutes rest. So first 30 seconds, scissor punch jack, go. We've done lunges, so our legs are all warmed up, go. Go, see if you can pick up the pace. Yes, we're moving. Even if it's a small movement, get your heart rate up. Even better, wider jump. I like it. Nice. Let's see where we're at. Brandon is playing. Yes, I see everyone's arm going. So good. All right, little kids. Last five, four, three, two. Step your legs wide, squat and reach. Down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up. Making sure we keep our core engaged the whole time to support our low back as we press our booty back. Mm-hmm, 10 seconds down. If you're needing a little extra here, knowing that we have hard work to come still, but if you just need that extra work, add a jump. Up, down, up, last 10. I don't see too many takers. <laughs> All right. In five, we're gonna move into those oblique kicks. We have four, three, two. Right hand behind the head. Kick, 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 get it up. All the way, leg to arm. Up, 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 up. And even if it's a small movement, your arm is out, you're doing a baby kick up. Anything to get your body going. Try and keep that left arm stable. In five, we're gonna switch sides. We have three, two, one, and switch, other side. Up. I don't know what you got. The other side's way easier for me. This is how my body is. Up. Up. Last 10. Yeah. Go, guys. Go. Good. Five more seconds as fast as you possibly can move it. We have four, three, two, and everybody rest. Instagram rest. Zoom rest. Grab your water. We're going to take a sip together. See if you can unmute everyone. Uh, uh, Instagram. If I hear hey, Laurel, this Zoom, is John. I got a quick point. Hey, John. Hey, so guys, when you, uh, sorry, when you're just getting ready to start your next set, you might be on cycle six or cycle seven. Just go ahead and hit the power button and then reset. So right away, if you're on leg bands, that's resets for a good five minutes right there, at least. Go ahead, Laurel. All good. Um, Let's take another minute. Let's take, let's take a second. second. Drink, drink a good amount of water. Let's to pause. <sighs> All right. And while we're here taking a quick pause, um, where are we from? 
who do we have in the room today? Uh, is there anyone outside of the U.S.? <laughs> uh, nope. No? Okay. All right. Just curious. Is yeah. there anyone? Hmm. I don't have good questions. I'm lost. Does anyone have a birthday in April? Can we get a birthday count here? <laughs> <laughs> a birthday this week? I don't know. I mean, if we're all going to be here together. Let's get to know each other. Let's hang out. <laughs> I will say that I man, no went birthday. to Santa Cruz. I'm kind of I'm envious. That's a, that sounds like that was a fun place to go to school. I went to oh, yeah. I went to freezing Wyoming. It was like, <laughs> 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 that was cold. Oh, who, who can guess? Who can guess? What sports? What sports did Katsu users win Olympic medals? What different sports Ooh. did Katsu users win Olympic medals? <laughs> track and field. Track and field is correct. Both what? track and Ooh. field. Both track and field. Uh, we have winners in the 100, 200, 1500, 5000, and marathon. On the mm. field side, we have hammer throwers. Any wow. other sports? Nordic combined. Nordic combined for sure. Yep. Any other sports? <laughs> we have wrestling. We have boxing. We have basketball. We have uh, soccer. What about soccer? The soccer, uh, I don't know no because metal? they are 20, 20 and under. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, we have uh, tennis. Swimming? Swimming, yes. Both open <laughs> water and in the pool. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> we need we Michael have, Andrew to make the next Summer Olympics. Is what we, we have need. diving. And uh, <laughs> well, that's enough rest, everybody. Just killing time. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, Steven, keep going. Get back to work. <laughs> Everyone's like, let's talk about more athletes so we can breathe. <laughs> We're more excited than athletes about birthdays. That makes sense. It's, a, it's an athletic program. All right. Uh, if anyone happens to have an April birthday and you want to give me a shout about it afterwards, I'd love to wish you a happy birthday. We had Marilyn's birthday on Friday, and we do love to celebrate as a team because we're all here together, so why not? So let's jump on in. Next up, we have Jump, Slam, Half, Burpee. Uh, sorry, I need to unmute you, Laurel. All right, we good? Sorry, yep, sorry. All right, so next up we have jump, slam, half, burpee. So what that looks like is we come into plank position, we hop up, jump up, slam, hop back, jump up, hop, slam, jump back. Modification, we're in a plank. We step up, step up, jump, slam, Step back, step back, okay? Either way, you're moving, and I want to see everybody who can give me a big jump, slam at the top. We're really getting those arms working. So, two 30-second sets. First set, moderate. Let's get used to it. Second set, fast. Let's go. Here we go. Everyone come into plank position, either stepping or jumping. First set, go. Get up. Jump, slam, hop, or step back. Okay. Perfect, Bonnie. Go, John. Let me see a big fiery jump at the top. That's it, Quentin. Slide, yes. Cool. What's up, Instagram? Keep going. I'm getting lots of waves. I love it. All right, last 10 seconds. Big old jump at the top. Awesome for bone density. We have five, four, three, two, Everybody rest, come up to stand, shake it out. The next set, we are going fast. And we always do, we almost always do, one arm competition, one leg competition. So in this time, seeing how many jump slam half burpees you can do. Everyone come into plank. 30 seconds. Time is going. How many can you do in this time? We're moving fast. Not compromising on one. Bring it down. Jump back or step. Thing you can still move fast. Check in with yourself. Is your core working to support you? That's the center of every movement of our body. Got to keep it strong. Last 15 seconds. 
I'm seeing full bodies, I'm seeing shadows jumping, I'm seeing everyone moving. Last 10. Good, we're gonna come hands and knees in five, four, three, two. Come on down to hands and knees. <laughs> Crawl yourself over to your computer and give us a shout. How 14. Many or you can do it via chat. 14 and 14. 16. 12. 18. 12. 18, do we have more than 18? 19. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cool. I think we're at 19 for our winner for today. Who is that? Justin. Looks like we all got me. Justin? Not Justin, who can like barely breathe. He's like, it's me. Yeah. All right. Good job, guys. Um, That's for Justin. For Justin. Everyone's like, <sighs> all right. Last exercise, and then we're going to come down for court. A reverse lunge twist. So, full variation of the exercise. We have our hands. We do twisting movements to keep our side, step back, twist, center, rise. So that's the first set. Um, the modification for that is just a step back instead of lunge, twist, center. So you can come full lunge or you can step your foot back, engaging your core, back the shoulders as you twist back and come back to center. So we're going to start with the left leg, hands behind the head, make sure those elbows are nice, 30 seconds and move. And I'll do this first set partially with you guys. And, uh, and we want to make sure that we take that twist at the bottom of the lunge, and we don't step back up until we twist back through center, using our core for support, keep grooving. Cool. So we're challenging the balance, we're challenging the legs. We practice our lunges with our curtsy lunges. So give your touch a nice squeeze, give your hips a nice squeeze to help with stability. Last 10, mm -hmm. we have five, four, three, Two, come up, release the arms, give the shoulders a roll. We're gonna go right into the second set. Roll them out, big old circles. Take the hands behind the head. Right leg steps back, second set. Lunge, twist, center, step up. You can pick your pace here. That does not matter to me. Form over number. We are not gonna be doing these at a fast pace. I want you to really get into your muscles of your legs and your spine, most importantly. Engage what you've got. Cool. All right. Let's check in. Good. Keep pressing your elbows back. Perfect. Nice, Libby. Jack Ryan, cool. I see a very close up of Devin's knee. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Last five. Four, cool, Lucas. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. Now, our second set, you have an optional hold at the top. So it's the same thing. You lunge, twist, center. You can either step your foot up or you can pull in your knee into the chest for balance. Back, twist, center, pull it out. Back, twist, center, and up. Starting with the left leg, always okay to just tap it back and step it up. Second, 30 seconds, go. All right. Remembering that when we twist, we wanna pull the same elbow back as the leg we step back. So pull the left elbow back, engage your core, working towards getting those shoulders in alignment when you twist back. Go cool. off. Last 10 seconds. Let me see nice holes at the top if that's what you're going for. Really can. Commit to it. Eight, seven, growing taller. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. Shake it out, last exercise here. So we have core and stretch. Hands up, right leg back, lunge, 
twist, center, pull it in. We're moving. All right. Awesome job. Every blonde is firing. Lunge, twist, center, up. Last 10 seconds, then we're going to come into that stationary hold balance work. We have six, five, four, three, two. Step it up. Keep your hands behind your head. Pull the righty up. It can be this, this, or this as best you can. Keep pressing into the left leg, standing straight and strong. Chest up, elbows back. Six, five, four, three, two, and release it. Let's come down for core. First part of our core. Side plank reach. So we come down into a side plank. We reach over, down, over, down. Modification, drop the knees. Up, down, up, down. We're doing 30 seconds, right side, left side. Then take a gander before we jump into this. Our final bit of core work is a hollow body variation. So we're in a hollow body hold. We go right knee, left knee. Right knee, left knee, then switch left, right, left, right. 30 seconds of each one, then we're done for the day. So make your way into whatever side plank variation works best for you. Come on up, getting into the shoulders. Reach down, reach down, making sure that your bottom wrist is in line with the shoulder. Keep pressing the floor away from you, pushing your hips up towards the ceiling. So sides of our abs are oblique. As just are just as important as the center of our body. All right, hips up even higher. Last 10 seconds. Reach down, reach down. We have six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, left hand either on your knees or just all the way up. Reach that arm up. Let me get my timer going. Here we go. Woo, reach. Yeah. Up, down. If your feet are not stacked and you want more of a challenge, stack your feet. Press your hips away from the floor. Embrace that shakiness, maybe imbalance. That's exactly why we do it. Reach, down, reach, down. Last 10. Get those hips up. Pull your belly button into your spine for stability for five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your bottom down to the floor. Reach your arms and legs in opposite directions. The most important thing here is that your spine stays rooted into the floor the whole time. We pull the knees in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. Keep reaching your arms back behind you the whole time you do this. Try and get them in line with your ears nice and straight. In, in, out, out. Imagine you're pushing something away from you with your feet. Last one seconds. Tuck your chin into your chest to protect your neck. In, in. Out, out. We have five, four, three, two. Pull the knees into the chest, rock side to side. Now, listen carefully for our stretch. We're going to take our right leg and cross it over our left leg above the knee. Imagine you're hanging out with friends, you're crossing your legs, and then pull both knees into the chest. This is a stretch for our hips as well as the piriformis, a little muscle in our butt that can oftentimes get tight and tug on the lower back. So if you have lower back pain, this could be a culprit of that. If you don't, you're in good luck. Let's keep it that way. Now with the legs crossed, guide them both over to the left side, final twist. Let both shoulders relax onto the floor. We take one or two deep breaths here. And pull the leg back to center. Untangle them, cross the left leg above the right. Over the right, sorry, above the knees, pull them into the chest. Rock yourself side to side. Doing our best to keep the back of the head on the floor and then guide both legs across over to the right. And as I do this, I try and keep my shoulders down. And think about the muscles around my spine relaxing. And then I notice the quality of my breath and see where I have the opportunity to breathe a little deeper. A little slower. Last big breath here. And we'll pull the knees back through center. 
rock and roll a couple times along your spine. Come up to sit, extend the legs straight, take a hamstring stretch. Actually, better yet, let's come up to stand. We took our first hamstring stretch at the beginning of the workout. Let's take our second one to see how much flexibility we've gained. So, my secret here for me to you is as I do this, I shift my weight ever so slightly into my toes. So you have to keep your heels down. The more you shift your weight forward, the more gains you can get in your flexibility. So start to walk your fingers down towards your toes. You can shift the weight forward ever so slightly. Yes, it's kind of scary. <laughs> you know how to keep yourself from diving forward. And see if maybe you can get a little bit deeper into that stretch. Letting the back of the neck lengthen. Tapping the chin slightly into the chest. And imagine the very top of your head melting towards the floor. As you rock side to side, heavy like a rag doll. And then we'll take our last stretch here and our last stretch. And a single. I think you're muted. <laughs> Maybe I am. <laughs> All right, my ear pop got weird. Give yourself a round of applause. Awesome job, guys. Thanks, Laurel. Awesome. Yeah, welcome. Thank Good you job. so much. That one was a kick in the butt. <laughs> Thanks, Laurel. That was awesome. Yeah, thanks, Laura. Thank you. Thank you. Great. <laughs> thanks, Laurel. Thank you.